All right, so Ernest, welcome. Welcome to this interview about, about the work and your experience with the work. I love talking Thank to you. you. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, ner the nerds, the nerds, yeah, right. the nerds. back in town. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so tell, tell us, tell me, you know, if you, when you go back, I always love the origin of when, when you encountered the work or what was happening. And I know maybe you uh, were interested in, in mind and thought and inquiry before you ever heard the work, but just what was happening, you know, when, and when was that? Yeah, well, um, so, so my story with the work uh, dates back a long way in the sense that, as you said, I've, I've always had this curiosity and this huge, like, um, yeah, interest or obsession with, with understanding the mind and, and, and what does it mean to be human, philosophy, psychology, all of it. And I, and I, and I had that burning interest from a very young age. Um, I remember in, 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 in school, in, in ninth grade or eighth grade, maybe even, I hypnotized one of my classmates so he couldn't get his arms back from behind his, uh, behind his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, that was just one among many things that, that showed me that, okay, there's something going on here that is really unique and, and, and there's some solutions, uh, potential solutions to some of our issues there. So, so I, I, I've been through so many modalities. Um, the whole new age uh, thing I've been through. I was running a center with training, and I was I was deep into spirituality, psychology, philosophy. You know, Chinese, East, West, all of it, just really for many years. So so um, and then and then um, in the, in the two thousand somewhere ten years ago, something like that. I came across this book uh, by Byron Katie, and I remember it didn't, it wasn't until later I realized that I actually read it then and thought, oh, that's interesting, did some exercises and moved on. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't realize at the time the potential of this tool. It was just one among many tools. I, I had sort of become very interested in sort of the tool approach and, and gone from just philosophizing to, to thinking, okay, what actually works? Where can we do something? What, where can we change something? Because my head was so full of ideas, but, but, but to actually make a difference for people and, and in my own life and in their lives. So I read it, did a little, put it away, moved on to other things. Among other things, I became an NLP master coach. And, and then along the way, I, I came across Stephen Mitchell's books, which is uh, Byron Katie's husband, uh, and, and his, specifically his translation of the Tao Te Ching and some stuff on Jesus he'd done. And I was reading that and I really enjoyed that. And then I discovered through, through him, actually, I discovered, oh, he's married to this Byron Katie character. What's that? And then, and then I came across her work again and I thought, oh, um, uh, I've seen that before. And that's when I found her, her things on YouTube. Uh -huh. And so that's, that's what made the huge difference. I suddenly got, okay, this is different. This isn't just another, you know, American guru type writing her stuff. This this is actually something uh, that moves that moves us. And and I and I could just get, I got it right away. Like ah, the, the the benefits of of this is your own wisdom coming out. It's not it's not a therapist or a, a coach telling you something. Mm -hmm. It's it's you finding your answers. And and the change happens immediately once you see it. It's not something that needs to be maintained or mm -hmm. you have to remember or it's a new behavioral strategy or, or it, it's, it's like you see something and something changes in you. And, and that attracted me deeply. And, um, and so I started doing it. I, I started doing it uh, by myself. And at this time I, I, I was, um, I, I had been fortunate to, to uh, publish my first book, which, which was, uh, became a bestseller here in Denmark where I live. And, and so I could build, I had built a company where I was uh, training and teaching and doing individual work with people. And so I already, had a lot of tools and things I was doing. So I, it was natural for me to start incorporating the work into what I was already doing, both in my work with myself and with my clients. Mm. And what I saw then was that, okay, this, where, where I had been picking up other tools and thought, oh, that's a slightly better way of doing it than that one, or, or this is an interesting new approach. What the work offered was just 
this is this is a quantum leap. This is like this isn't a, just a, a slight improvement. This is a step into a whole new world wow. of effect and and depth and and insight and and holistic um, fullness and richness. So what so as I always do, I, I picked it up and sorry. What made that happen? Like, what do you think? I mean. Because there are other inquiry methods. There's other yes. behavioral, you know, here's questions and there's inquiries been around, you know, like what something about, and it sounds like something about seeing Katie in action too, like in, in yeah. the prompt. Yeah. But I don't yes. know the words to it, but was there something? Well, well, well clearly, yeah, I, I think many of the other, like Katie's, the insight that Katie found uh, on that notorious day with the cockroach, her cockroach moment, where she sort of realized that that she isn't her thoughts and and that, that um, well, I don't know if your viewers have know the story, but she, she had like this enlightenment moment. And, yeah. and, um, and then I, I think two things. One was it was a very, it was like a very big leap already in that moment when she had it, it, was, it wasn't just a little thing, it was like one of the really huge shifts. And then she did, she took it very seriously, so to speak. Uh, she did a lot of work afterwards to, to understand and clarify. So the result is that, that where Katie is coming from in, in, in how she presents the work is not just like a, like a clever method within the, the the framework of understanding that that the rest of us live in she sort of stepped out of that fr framework and and gone into a whole new a whole new perspective and she's coming from there and that and that um transmits when she's doing the 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 facilitations and and and, and that sort of it's not built into the work because the work is so simple it's just these questions but the way she uses it opens to not just like seeing it a little bit differently but like who would you be without that story she really means that like like yeah. like uh, it, originally actually the, the 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 that question was phrased like this what would you be without your yes, story I've heard that. which is yeah which is like completely without the who yeah. even so yeah. so that so so she's coming from a place where with no identity and working in from there and and that does have um I mean, for me, that opened up to what I was already, like through my spiritual interests, what had been looking at. And suddenly there was this, for the first time, a really effective tool uh, or method, call it, that, that could, could support the spiritual aspect and not just the mental and, and the sort of uh, cognitive or neurological aspect. Yeah. And then I think uh, the 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 absolute unique thing about the work as a process of inquiry is, is the the concept of turnarounds. I haven't seen that so consequently used anywhere else. And and as you as you use it, you the more you use it, you see how precise it is. It's like it's just spot on. If if you if you phrase the statement honestly, then when you turn it around, you will get the exact mirror of that in in how you treat others or how you treat yourself. And that, and that as, as a way to, to disturb or disrupt our thinking is just so effective. Yeah. So I think those are the two things. One, Katie is coming from this unique place and, and she transmits it from this unique place. And two, this notion of turnarounds used the way she does it really, really um, delivers something that is, uh, that is uniquely uh, potent, you could say. And so, and so for me, that just became, yeah. And, and so within a few years, so sort of everything I did in my company had turned into doing it around the work, uh, wow. um, my facilitations, my workshops, you know, w whatever I was doing, it would be, it would be that angle uh, of, of, of looking at beliefs and, uh, and uh, undoing them. Yeah. Fabulous. You must've decided in there somewhere to go see her and do the school. True. True. Yeah. I, I, uh, after a couple of years uh, of doing it on my own and, and getting uh, uh, impressive results i thought uh yeah this school thing at, at the time i had my, my my children were small and so uh, and 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 we had this full-time life and so it seemed like a lot to to take out of of our everyday life uh, you know it's nine days plus going and coming back and 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 that was a lot to ask at the time in in uh, in my mind uh, as well as in my experience of our life so i had sort of postponed it but eventually i sort of uh, uh 
found the courage. That's how, what it was like in those days uh -huh. to ask my wife, like, honey, I, I really, really would like to do this. Would that be okay? And, and, um, and it's, it's so interesting to look back at myself in that and in my marriage, it was this sort of uh, strategic thinking of like, when would be a good time to ask and how should I ask? I so much wanted it, but I was, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> which is just, and that's a good example of what the work does. It is so different from how it is today, like my relationship to my wife and my family, how, how, how it's changed. But back then it was, um, that was where I was coming from. But, but, but of course, lovingly, she said, uh, she said yes, and I took off. And, and was at my first school and um, and was blown away. I had been to several different uh, events and I'd met Tony Robbins, I'd met Eckhart Tolle, I'd met a lot of, of, of sort of uh, significant uh, uh, characters within that, yeah, yeah. that whole domain. Yeah. And I had never experienced anything as uncompromising and consequently executed as the School for the Work. I, I think what Katie does there is just... Um, it's just incredible. And what I experienced was for the first time, like I had been through so many different processes of therapy and spiritual work and seeking and, and, and trying to understand. And I had, I had an idea of what I am, who I am, like, but, but it was, I didn't know that, but it was a very conceptual idea, like soul, spirit, you know, universe. What happened at, at my first school was for the first time I met myself, I, I met what I really am. I, I, I stood face to face or, or heart to heart, or it's hard to describe, of course, but for the first time I saw, I experienced that which I am, not as a concept, but as an experience. Wow. And, um, and that, was, uh, that, was just, that was just mind blowing. And then I thought, okay, I got it. Like <laughs> I was talking to some other people and it was their second or third school. And I thought, why would you go to another school? Have, did you get it the first time? Today, I know that people go there for 15, 20 schools, you know, uh, right. I've, I've, I've met people at, at that number. But, but back then I just thought, why would you go to another? I've got it. This is so simple. This is so clear. I went home. I worked a lot. I then thought, okay, I need another event with Katie. So I went for the nobody, which is another thing. She started doing that again now. Uh -huh. Um, uh, but I went to Kripalu in, in New York and, and did the Nobody, and that was also uh, great and, and, and wonderful. And then I started for the certification program, and that requires another school. So I thought, okay, I'll go back and, and be staff at one more school. Not that I need it, I just, I, that's part of the curriculum. And to my complete shock and surprise, it was nothing like my first school. I mean, I can see today that it was the same curriculum. Uh -huh. But everything I heard was different. Every exercise I did was different. Everything was different. Like and, and of, yeah, and today I, I see, of course, why uh, I had changed. And so uh -huh. what I brought to the school was so different. Yeah. And, and I think um, one way to put it is at my first school, I met myself and I saw myself for the first time. And that was shocking and mind-blowing and, and, and brought so much. And then at the second school, I fell completely in love with myself. That was what happened at that one. I just, wow. I just, yeah, it was just like, wow. So, 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 so much of my, also, of course, because of the work I'd done in between, but, but so much of the self attack and the, the sort of, for, for me, my, my story is, is one of trying to be perfect. I think that's the case for a lot of people who get into spirituality, especially sort of conceptual spirituality is this, this attempt to step into witness consciousness and, and be untouched by life and so unhurt by life, like as in not, not being vulnerable, just being perfect. And that was like what I was going for, not getting my hands dirty, stepping out of all of that messy feeling, uh, yeah. pain, suffering, and just be this, this calm, ever peaceful, enlightened character. Mm -hmm. and, and so that had, that had, that had been my, my uh, That's so really what I, what I had been striving for. Yeah. For so many years and in so many ways, like to control and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, and obviously what I found was, what I found over the years is that that is really just this, this hidden aggression towards yourself. Like you're not good enough the way you are. You, you have to improve yourself to be lovable. Yes. yes. And, and so at that second school, what I saw was suddenly that I was actually pretty cute the way I was, <laughs> like with all my faults and flaws and, and not that it didn't bother me, um, but, but I could see the innocence and the, and the, this sweet, sweet little precious one who just, who's just trying to do the best he can and, and yeah. sometimes isn't, isn't yeah. all that successful.
Yeah, wonderful. You know, when you, before you ever went to a school or maybe even mixed up in there, first of all, I love that you say that you actually sat down and did the work because some people do. I find the majority of the people that I speak with or wind up working with, they like, um, find it very tricky in some ways to just sit down and, and begin to question or they want to do it on themselves. You know, like there is this awareness sometimes it's it's got some wisdom in it like i can't change anything about the world so i need to change myself so that's what i really need to work on here is me <laughs> and um they'll want to write the worksheet on themselves and um you know be very focused on that and then we're invited of course over and over again to do it on what you object to out here but did you find before you ever went to the school or when you started did you do the work on yourself like or were you looking outside or both I, I think that one of the, so, so, so one more reason why I really enjoyed the work when I found it the second time, when I, when I really found it, um, was that it matched my worldview so perfectly. Um, uh, as I said, I'd written that book and, and, and that was like, my, it's called Being Present and, and that was like my, my take on what life is. And, and in there, I had all the elements that I could find again in the work. It's, it's like, just without th that specific method, but but the, the 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 view of the world and especially that notion of projection, and and how how everything out there is really just, or or rather how we see it today. I call it we, we see it through a filter, which which I call our map of reality. We, we look at the world, and because we're seeing it through that filter of ourselves, we we experience it in a certain way, and and as such, it's all projected. It's all me, and and I think I really. I had understood that on a pretty deep level. So for me, it made complete sense mm. that by working on the world, I was working on myself. So I didn't have that. Yeah. Um, and, and, then, and then one thing I had learned through my many experiments with, different, uh, with, with so many varieties of, of different methods uh, was to, to not think, oh, this is like that from the beginning, to first go all in and follow the instructions, what, what Katie calls follow the simple directions, you know, just, yes. just do as you're told 100%, and then when you're through it, evaluate. But don't, don't second guess it or evaluate on the way. Uh, and that, I, feel, I feel that has helped me uh, uh, tremendously in, in many different things to just jump in 100%, and then after that, I'll, I'll look back at it. So, so that's what I also did, I think. I just, I just really did what I was instructed. Like, yeah, do write this worksheet on some f person that you haven't forgiven fully. That was that was the phrasing back then, and and, and I I did that, and then I I did it, and I went through it, and and then uh, I at that point for 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 fifteen twenty years I had been working with myself in different ways, so I was also like I was. Um, I was trained in the ability to observe myself. I was trained in, in the ability to, to hold the feeling while looking at the feeling and, and, and all these different things. So, so I think it's also that I was just, uh, I was ready for it and therefore it didn't confuse me so, so much. Yeah. Um, I, I think some people come to the work out of a deep suffering. That's, that's I would imagine about 90% of the people who, who end up in the work come because it's, it's a desperate, like need to find their way out of this thing that they have landed in, in, in themselves, their lives, their marriage is over, someone died or, or, you know, less traumatic, but, but as painful. And so there is this strong urge to get out of the suffering and, uh, and, and what you're working on is very painful. And that sort of clouds the ability to be in that meditative space of inquiry. Mm -hmm. I, I, I myself didn't come that way. I didn't have like this huge suffering that I needed to get out of. I, I had a huge interest and this, this nerdy desire to understand. So, so, so I think maybe also, and, and, and I don't know, it's a reflection now, but, but it could also be that I, that I just had, I, I didn't get lost in it the, self, the same way. I, I could keep yeah. like uh, um, uh, connected to it, but still at a distance so I could observe what I was doing. And, and so it was easier perhaps to follow the directions than if I was completely just lost at sea in my emotions. That's wonderful. It's like what I hear and what you're saying is you didn't have, let's just be able to let go of having any agenda. Like I have to have, this has to work for me because I'm in so much pain. Which yes. Is, there it is. That, that's the way it is. And also just 
Yeah, what a thing to, I mean, tricky, but nice to not have that yeah. like blazing in your in the front of you. Exactly. Have to work because I'm in so much pain. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that can make it hard. It can make it hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or, or it, I don't know if it makes it hard. It just gives a different path in, you know. Yes, true. And and and, uh, and you learn that that's a way of learning. Okay, maybe that's not the optimal way of doing it, and maybe sometimes it is. I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah. Well. In my experience, the work works. You know, yeah, in the strangest, uh, I, I have all my opinions about how to make it work best. <laughs> I, I teach it. I train people, and I just time and time again, I just have to say, you know, it's it's amazing what how little information people need before you can let them go in this and they will find some way and it may not be the way i would have taken them as yeah. a as a facilitator but they come out afterwards and they just report these enormous uh, uh these positive results and of course that's also part of it i i like why why did i fall in love with the work well also of course because i experienced tremendous results uh, uh very very quickly and 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 i guess that's also a matter of luck you know which which thing do you work on and and how how do you go about it and and i just had some very uh strong uh, uh experiences with it i don't remember the content anymore but i just remember that jaw dropping time and time again of getting to those turnarounds and just it was just yeah boom, there it is. That's the answer. And then the piece yeah. of returning to myself again, just, ah, oh, I don't know. I'm not dependent on that person or, or that thing to change. I can change my perspective and, and, and just go, go with an open heart. That's, that's usually, that was where I landed time and time again, you know, just back in love. And, uh, and then, then the world can be what it is. Yeah. What a relief. <laughs> yeah. What a joy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very sweet, really. It is. Yeah. I like um I like the little phrase, I'm sure it's from Katie, but trust the work. Just trust the work, you know. I hear it sometimes and when I ever have that thought that like, oh my gosh, how is that person gonna sort this one? <laughs> you know, like they're they, yeah. they bring something and but they do. It's yeah. It's quite yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that certainly is a is is a shift. Also, it's a more of a more technical uh, character, perhaps. But this shift from from thinking that I'm the one who needs to do something special when I'm facilitating, which is a very typical, I think, in the beginning, and certainly how I saw it, like I have to be a good facilitator, mm -hmm. to gradually realizing that that I don't have to do a lot. I mean, of course, I can be sometimes it can feel a, a, a more clumsy and sometimes more elegant or 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 fluent what I'm doing but ultimately I can lean back and if I'm in doubt just move forward the, the work will hold it. It, 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 it something will come up you know I, there's there's no need to know where we are going you know on, on the contrary just trust that the process will you know the unconscious will will bring up what's needed and, and so um, yeah. so yeah trust the work and again you know follow the simple directions just just do it step by step yeah take your time and and you will get a result. You will get a result. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. No, oh, wonderful. So, 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 do you still run your company now? Do you still have this same? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 My, my, my company is called The Art of Being Human, and um, and yeah, that's what I do. I I uh, I, I work um, with uh, um, like. I do some retreats uh, and and uh, and some workshops that are like public, but but most of what I do is in the uh, is in companies and and organizations, which is a little unusual um, uh, in in sort of the the, the field of, of people working with the work, but but that's th because that was what I was doing already. Then that was just the natural uh, arena for me, and so and so uh, I, I do a lot of. Uh, uh, training and, and, and these workshops, management development, or, or yeah, manager, what's it called? Leader development management? Well, yeah, organizational. Yeah, type yeah, of yeah, yeah. Of, of people, of course. And, yeah. and also like stress, stress reduction stuff, feedback stuff, you know, sometimes it may have a different name, but it's always the work that I'm, um, yeah. that I'm, uh, that is, is uh, revolving around. And then, uh, uh, yeah, my, my, my second book came out, um, last year and and that's specifically about the work and it's like an instruction and that's based and, and i'm really 
pleased with it because it's it's based on on all that experience with training. So 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 I feel I've I've really managed to to explain things by now in a way that is very sort of clear and and can be understood. I so so uh, I got to read your book. I like your book. It's wonderful. We, we should make yeah. a link so that people can uh, follow it. You know and get it. Yeah. Time. Yeah. 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 So, so I think that's sort of my thing in terms of the company. I think that's my sort of skill, my, my unique skill. I can, I can go in under the radar, you know, all these years of perfecting myself have made me someone that, that I can show up in a way that the business world trusts. You know, I, I show up and, and I can communicate in a way I, it's not too hippie and too strange. And then, you know, underneath the radar, you know, it's, it's all about love and all about these things, you know, and, but it just, it slides in there. And, and once they're in, you know, and, and, yeah. Then, then, then they see the point. So, so I think I have like a a, a special uh, 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 niche there of 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 you could say translating those deep spiritual and 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 heartfelt truths and and methods to an audience that wouldn't be attracted to Brian Katie's book. You know, loving what is and the picture of a woman sitting yeah. there like never yeah. pick that up. Yeah. You know, but they but they but they would pick put, pick something up that I would offer. You could say because I I, I see. I'm more edible, I think, especially for a Northern European, like in Denmark, where I am, sure. you know, this whole religious spiritual approach can, can feel a little uh, daunting for, for people in, in, in this part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. I mean, how, how fabulous to bring something of such depth and be in there with, you know, I, um, I was speaking with somebody else who did some things in organizations and I've only been invited a few, very, very rare, but like a whole little, haircutting company once had me come in with all the different stylists and then the owner and you know it's like oh this will be interesting and what I found is um they just go right right to the same you know my mother my brother my yeah. sister, like right away they're they're not talking totally. about the work or the whose hair or maybe yeah. a client you know maybe a co-worker maybe yeah. but yeah. <laughs> they go right yeah. into their life you know yeah yeah, yeah that's, that's true. I, I have the I have the privilege of sometimes working with groups where they where they work often they work together in daily life, and so they can work on each other also, which is a very powerful uh, element. Like once they know it, they they get to do you know they can do a worksheet on each other or they can uh, um, do just a one liner on each other, and 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 that's just uh, so 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 I agree it it. it I, I see it as, as often it starts with, you know, someone in the organization they work on because they think it has to be something to do with the job. And then eventually those, those private things just pop up, you know, they can't hold it back anymore. It's their children, it's their husband, it's their mother, you know, that, that comes in and, and they sort of ask for permission. And I'm like, of course you're working on yourself. doesn't matter who you project on, do that. And then we do that for a little while. And then gradually, you know, we can open up into maybe even, you know, doing something on someone in the room, like, like working together like that. So that's, so that's, that's the journey. Intimate. That's such an intimate thing. I mean, it is, Yes. you know, the first time I ever did that, oh my, I was like, yeah. I, I was scared to death. It was amazing yeah. to feel the adrenaline running through my system and um, about saying, just saying what yeah. I wrote, you know, like writing it down and then sharing it with the person. Yeah. It's gonna hurt yeah. their feelings, this will be terrible, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a very Precisely. intimate thing. Yeah. yeah. I had a wonderful experience of that with them. Um, I have one sister, one family member who also went to the school for the work. And um, we decided, let's do worksheets on each other. And we'll sit down about like our, our childhood experience wow. of the other one. Wow. You know? wow. And um, we said, oh, well, we need to schedule at least four hours. We're going <laughs> to, you know an entire half day, you know, thing. And she came over to my house and we had worksheets already written on each other. And even then, the sister I trust deeply, inherently, great love, and even more love after, you know, to sit and read everything and tell her the situation <laughs> and then hear yeah. from her was beautiful yeah. and very, like just um, an astonishing feeling of, um, you know, that vulnerable and honest, and then we facilitated each other. Yeah. You know, it's just been- Yeah, it, 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 and it really is the, the, the initial reading that is the most um, 
uh, adrenaline uh, inducing. Uh, as as I see it, like like now I've I've done it many times, of course, and and I'm sure so have you as as part of everything. And mm-hmm. and and today it's like they read it and it's really exciting. And then the minute we start, I start facilitating, I I, I see it has nothing to do with me. It's just <laughs> it's it's not me at all. It's it's yeah. <laughs> and, and and that's 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 in one way it's reassuring and it's also a little disappointing sometimes. It's like oh. <laughs> Oh, or even the worksheet when they read it, it's like, what? You you see me as that? That's that's completely not. I can understand why you would see me that way, but it's just it has nothing to do with me. It's it's so clearly just your story yeah. that you put yeah. on me. So 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 that and when people experience that, I also notice that you know the the, the tension level just drops. Like yeah. oh, this is just like any other facilitation because right. it has nothing to do with me. Um, yeah. It's it's all about his mother or you know his brother or <laughs> right. yeah some some imagined um, yeah wrong yeah yeah it's fabulous well yeah no wonderful to um wonderful to hear of your experience and then also just you know speaking with people who like find it and are touched by it and then kind of keep keep staying with it I mean it's this this sort of simple method and yet very very deep and I just yeah. same thing I keep learning just learning and it's it's been years I get sort of surprised because I yeah I relate to what you were speaking to like there's so many different things out there and I will read you know I'm reading like some book that is the latest book out or whatever you know kind of read through it or um study somebody or very interested Coming back to the work, I mean, just very steady. Yeah. It's a yeah. very steady experience. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I um, my experience um, uh, of that is that that as I started doing the work for 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 several years, I simply I I think I had like book constipation. Constipation is the word, right? When you're just like completely stuffed. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I, I simply couldn't read. I, I, I literally couldn't read a book. I, I, my mind couldn't process it. Um, these, all these conceptual, you know, uh, poetry I could do. I could, I could mirror myself in that. And, uh, and other than that, it was just, you know, the, the, the stuff that came up as I was doing my work was, was what I was learning from. That was where the wisdom was coming to me in wave after wave. And I could see how these ideas that I had picked up along the way and, and believed in, you know, when they got embodied in, in my actual experience as I was doing some worksheet, they just took, it's, it's like that, that old one of the cliche, right? We know the cliches. And when you experience it, it's just so real for you. It's just like, that's, and you try to say it and it just comes out as a cliche and, and you know that other people can't hear what you're saying. You can only say, but, but you know, it's, it's, it, it, I can really feel it. And people are like, yeah, I know, I know. And you just know they don't know because they just have the cliche right now. <laughs> and then it dies out a little bit and becomes a cliche again. And then it, and then it might yeah. come back. But I had, I had several years where I, where I simply, I, I couldn't read anything. I was just, mm. uh, after having really studied a lot and, and read a lot and, and now it's sort of come back, but but I, but I'm far more selective with what I read. There there, there there's a, there's a lot less that attracts me, uh, um, because and and when it is, it's more that they in a very eloquent way can say some things that it's more like a recognizing than it's a than it's a learning uh, process. Yeah. And then now and then th- there is a gem of 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 a new aspect of something. But what that does for me is it just enriches the work I'm doing. And, and that's why I think we can stick with the work. It's, it's like it's never ending. I, I, you think you, well, no, I've stopped thinking I've got it. But, but like I did after that first school, I thought, oh, that's it. I've got it. It's clear. There's no me. And it's just these questions and turnarounds. And, but it just, it just expands and expands and expands and, and the depth. And, wh- and what I've noticed is actually my work is becoming more and more silent. Where, where in, in the earlier years, it was all this talking my way through, like what I was experiencing and in question three, how do you react? What happens? I would talk and talk and talk. And now it's just this inner, it's like a meditation of just feeling the belief and feeling what it does to me and, and just seeing how I react. But there's, I, I can be quiet for like 10 minutes of just experiencing that belief. And then I may say a little thing and then there's another period of silence and then, 
so it's 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 like it's just becoming like it's moving in and and it's like that that inwards movement has no end it's it's endlessly possible to go deeper inside that's what it feels like and become more quiet and and more uh fine-tuned or yeah. like going from from the rough physical and into more and more sort of yeah, yeah. finer and finer nuances of of experience that's really sweet yeah i've yeah. had that kind of a, um experience that might be similar um you know those little you see these little i think it's a hologram card but like um it looks just like it can be the size of a playing card and you just turn it just a little like this and it changes the picture changes yes, yes. yeah Got like it. a little toy for children or something you know and um, yeah. i remember seeing one a few years ago and it's like oh or or yeah it, it that's what it would sort of feel like but between question three and question four which yeah. is very small and it's not always sometimes it's like wow okay just sitting and deeply being with who or what would i be without the thought uh you know my gosh wow it feels very expansive um and yeah i've noticed that little it's like psh, something so it's not such a dramatic what when i first went to that first school mm. right the same i remember the airplane home it was almost as if i was uh <laughs> like gasping <laughs> but without any sound like <gasps> I, you know no we're just like wow wow and i just kept saying, wow <laughs> you know yeah dawning on me even as i left like Oh, not even without the words like, and that means, and that means, but it was kind of like, that was the feeling. If that's not true, and that means that's not true. And that means, <laughs> true, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember being at Frankfurt Airport and, um, and I was, this is going home from school and I was seriously, uh, I was looking for someone I could hug and and I was I was seriously considering going up to a stranger and asking like can I just hug you I was like just <laughs> I need yeah. to hug somebody and all these people were walking past and and where where on the way out I had seen all these people and and you know my experience in that airport when I was going out was like oh that guy's he's fat or 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 he's like I had all these judgments of of them and and I noticed when I was going back that I couldn't, I was, I was actively looking for ugly people and I couldn't find anyone. I couldn't, I thought everyone just looked, they were so beautiful. Look at that sweet round man. And, and look at that, look at how she's dressed in that, in that, oh, she, that, she just loved that hat and she had to wear it. It was, it was just such a, so, so it's a bit like your, your card there. It's, it's, yeah. it's the same world we're looking at and, and, and the lens has just shifted and, and suddenly looks different. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes it's, sometimes it's dramatic and, and very often it's just this quiet, quiet, yeah. Mm. Just, uh, and, and also, you know, you, oh, now I've done a worksheet on my mother. This is really going to, oh, now I have it. And it's just like, yeah. And then you do a, a worksheet on the mailman or, or you know, the, the neighbor's cat or something. And it's like, ah, oh, do I really, well, okay, that's all I got. Let's do it. And then it just blows your mind. It's, there seems to be no, like, a clear connection between what seems like a big deal and what then delivers something. And then just a minor, minor thing. And then it can just open the door. So you never know if it's big or small. You never, sometimes yeah. it's just quiet. Sometimes it's just mind blowing. It's, it has so, it comes in so many forms, this, yeah. this, this wisdom. Yeah. It's yeah. Beautiful. That's a, yeah. It's beautiful. And I love that there are simple directions. So let's not worry yes. about where it's going, you know, just number one. Is it true? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's, that's also yeah. And, and, and just doing it, it's, it's like any practice. It's like you go to the gym, you do meditation, you know, whatever you do, you just, uh, you just sit down like this is the allotted time. This is the time I'm either sitting with myself or I've called someone. So, so in the beginning, of course, I was doing it when there was something that was bothering me and there were plenty of things bothering me. So there was, there was reason to do it. And then after a while, I noticed I'm not doing it as often. And obviously that was because 
less and less bothered me. So, so suddenly I was down to doing it like only, oh, well, I, I don't have to. It, it, and so that's when I realized, okay, I have to set up a schedule for this because I, I, I want to keep working. I want to stay in that space and, and, and make this my meditation. So, so then either, you know, you, you book with someone else or you have your own time, but, but this is the time I sit down and do the work for two hours and, and then whatever comes up. And that's when I started noticing that, that those little, little stories like the mailman or whatever it was, the neighbor's cat can, can really have a huge impact. I would never have worked them if I was only working on the heavy suffering. It, it, it's just, this is the time. What shows up in my mind? Okay, that shows up. Write a worksheet, go to yeah. work, and and just just the, the, the making that like a routine. That's what has really made the difference for me to to have it as a as a routine. I do it a couple of times a week, and and over time, mm. it's just that that strange feeling of less and less bothering me. Yeah. You know, less and less anger, less and less. Uh, like something is confusing. Okay, we'll see what happens, and and then and then something might come up, and oh, there's a theme, and and you can work on that for a while. But but just that gradual melting away of all that confusion and turmoil, and it's just, uh, and I and I really think that comes out of the, you know, uh, do the work for breakfast. I think I think that's what what Katie says. Yeah. I did the work for breakfast and, and uh, just every day she did it. I, I can't claim to have done it that, yeah. uh, that much, but a few times a week. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's whatever the schedule means to you. I, I had the, I just feel incredibly lucky because I had some kind of, I didn't think in, I had the same experience as you where I just, maybe I started not, I was just starting to not do it as much. And then somebody calls and they say, I'm looking for a partner. I want to have yeah. a partner every single week. And so for two yeah. years with this woman from my first school, every Monday, 7 to yeah. 9 a.m., no matter what. I mean, we yeah. just, every yeah. two hours on the phone. There was no, there was no Skype. There was no, right. Right. on the phone. And I just feel like, wow, I'm, yeah. I'm so lucky that that yeah. happened. Uh, yeah. I think that's what is great. It, my schedule is I like, setting it up with other people. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, no, but that, that really works for me as well. Uh, yeah. That really works for me. Uh, then you, then you owe it to somebody to show up. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and you get, you get that experience of facilitating someone else, which is also really, um, and, 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 and maybe if, if you're, if you're um, adventurous, uh, you you uh, do the feedback thing after each session, yeah, which is also really useful. Yeah, yes. you do a session and then just put aside five minutes to to hear like what worked and what didn't work for you, yeah. and that just that also just gives you so much um, perspective on yeah yeah on yeah. your own work and on on your facilitations. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah. to speak with you, Ernest. I just love it. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, and likewise. I mean. You know, I know you're a lover of the work and it's just fun to hear people's process in the world, but their, yeah. practice, their practice, their depth and their love. You know, yeah, and what can yeah. happen when we question our thinking. Yes. <laughs> so thank, yeah. you. thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs>